video for the pick turns routines. Over here on the left is one of the routines. Over here on the right is another routine. The first routine starts out saying fill numerically 240 values at trans matrix with zero. Well, there are six matrices that it's going to make. Each one is 40 in size, so it's zeroing all of them out. They're all going to be in tran matrix. Then it sets A to zero, K to zero, and then it says for I of one, and down here, next I to six, one at a time. It's going to go around for every one of the six possible travel routes through the maze. The next thing it does is it sets trans matrix offset 30A to 1. That is this one down here in the lower left hand corner. That is offset 30 from the beginning. So each one of the matrices is going to have a 1 put in that position. Then it sets H to A, and then it says for J of 1, set L to sequence of K. Well, I happen to know that these sequences have to do with where these values are to be placed. First row, second row, third row, so forth. These are offsets to those positions. It then subtracts one from that offset that it found, and it says tran matrix at offset H is the red fraction of the time, and at one past H is the green fraction time. Well, so for the first row here, it put this 42, that was sequence zero offset, and then at one offset, it put this 0 0.58. 0 0.42 and 0 0.58 make one. So that's legitimate for a transition matrix. The rows are going to add up to one. Then it adds seven to H. Remember, it started out here at the value of A, which was the first position here, but now it's going to add seven to it. Well, if it added six to it, it would just get to the next row, but it adds one more because this is for the second light. So the second light is represented by the second row, the third light, the fourth light, the fifth light, and then the transition to back to the beginning again. So each one of these rows has to do with each light. And we see up here that each time it goes around, it's going to have the red fraction of time and the green fraction of time. So this is the red fraction of time, that's the green fraction of time. And we know it's going to go around here five times because there are five lights that you have to pass through on traveling through the maze. Then, and the last time though, it says all that happens is you go back to the beginning again. Right, so this routine makes the transition matrix for each of the six travel possibilities through the maze. Over here, this routine raises the matrix power to 128. That is down here, this is the, this matrix over here to the 128th power. Well, here's how it works. First, it sets LS to 6. That's the offset between rows. Well, in this case, there are only 6 on a row. So each time it offsets, it just goes to the next row with just 6 offset. It sets MS to 6. I don't believe MS is actually going to be used anywhere, but that's normally is the number of columns that there are, and there are 6. NS is set to 1,006. Well, the 6 means there's 6 in each row, 6 in each column, because the 1,000 is added to it, saying that this is a square matrix. That's why I'm saying MS didn't have to be defined, because this one supersedes it 
and says it's a square matrix 6 by 6. Then it sets k to 0, and then for i, 0, and next i, 200, 40 at a time. It's going to go around here 6 times. And each time it's going to go to a different matrix, it's offset 40. Over here, we saw that the beginning of the matrix, A, A was started at 0, and each time it went around to 6 times, it increased it by 40. Well, the matrices are offset by 40. So here it says I'm going to move 36 values from tran matrix, that's what's over here, to hold matrix. Then I hold J of 1 and down, down here next J 8 1 at a time to the following. I'm going to multiply whole matrix which I made up here by itself. Okay I'm squaring the matrix and I'm putting the answer in result. Then right below that, I move result to the old matrix. The reason it has to do this is because while you're multiplying one matrix by another, if you're storing the result here, you're changing this matrix. So the result cannot be one of the two matrices that you're multiplying because you'll be changing it while you're doing the multiplication. So it has to do this other step where it gets it in result and then it takes result and moves it into the whole matrix. So the next time again, then it goes around, it multiplies it again. Whole matrix times, times whole matrix, puts it in result, puts result back in the whole matrix. Well, we see down here that it's going to go around here eight times. It's going to raise it two to the eighth, which is 128. Then it says, what did I, correction, two to the eighth is 256. Any programmer knows that. It's going to go around here and raise it to the 256th power. I may have said that this was the, to the 128th power Correction, it's the 256th power. And it, we know it's going to go around here and raise all six of the matrices to that power. And they're all going to be now, it moves the 40 values from result in a steady state at offset i. And we know that i changes by 40 each time. So it's storing each one of the powers of 256 at a separate place in the steady state list. Next thing it does, it says set relative plus k to result at offset 35. Well, we know this was the 30th one over here. This is the 35th over here. That's the one that tells it what percentage of the time was it looping back to the beginning again. Well, it takes that value and multiplies it by 10,000, rounds it, and here we just add 1 to k, and then we go around to 6 times. This value that it has down here says how much time it was spending in that state. The higher that probability, the more time going back to the beginning relative to all the other ones. We can say here this first one, it's 0.163 probability it's in this state. 0.169 this one, 0.197 this one, 0.169 this one, 0.206 this one, and this one is actually, there's a D over here, so that's 0 0.0948. But we can use that value to see how it relates to the other five steady states of the other five travel possibilities through the traffic lights. All right. This is the end of the video on Pick Turns Routines.